Hi guys, Hogue Croston back again. Apologies for the lack of videos. Um, obviously I've been doing a lot of fishing uh, as soon as the lockdown was lifted and we could get back out again. Um, thought it was about time I probably did something else and, and stuck another video up. Um, what I'm going to talk about this time um, is how you can actually improve um, the visibility and the indication qualities of your leader for when you're nymph fishing. We're coming into the winter now so the dry fly fishing is really going to taper off. And a lot of us are going to be spending uh, what time we do spend on the river chasing grayling. And that's typically going to be nymph fishing for the most part. Now, most people obviously are using one of the sort of like modern techniques now, European style nymphing or tight line nymphing, whatever you want to call it. And most people, again, are using coloured monofilament uh, within the leader to indicate the, the take. Um, it's a great way to do it. I use that myself all the time. Um, but what I do do is quite often add something additional to that to improve the visibility of it particularly in in bad light conditions which you can get in the winter you get a lot of flat light and it can be really hard to spot takes and, and to actually see your indicator section now tight line or european style nymphing leaders whatever you want to call them are getting progressively thinner um, as we move forward so everybody is trying to fish thinner and thinner and lighter and lighter to improve um bite detection and sensitivity and improved quality of drift. Now, that has a problem in itself in that as that leader gets thinner, and especially if you're fishing under some, some of the competition rules um, where you can't use a thicker section within that leader, it becomes harder and harder to spot um, the actual coloured section. Um, and some guys actually now even use fully clear leaders uh, and just add colour to that leader where they need it. Um, so these sort of things that I'm going to show you have got lots of applications. Some of them are relevant to competition fishing. Some of them probably fall slightly outside of the rules, uh, dependent on which competition you're in. Um, but they're equally important to, to pleasure anglers. So I'll take you through the three ways which I add colour onto my nymphing leaders uh, and the sort of pros and cons. The first one I, I'm going to show you is basically a coloured grease. Now, this has been about for quite a long time in, in countries like France, um, but it's not been that popular and not that widely known um, in this country. Now, coloured grease um, is basically, as the description implies, it's a visible grease. Um, so if you imagine white mucilin, um, this is actually a, a fluorescent mucilin. Now, basically, you can either buy it or you can make it. Now, I tend to make my own. Um, I take about a 50-50 mix of white mucilin, I heat it up over a boiling pan of water and I mix it with about 50% of a product called Preston Innovations Bristle Grease, which is actually a grease that I think is used on uh, pole floats. And it's a very, very bright coloured grease available in either orange or yellow. Now, you need to mix it with mucilin to make it stiffer because in its normal form, it's very, very liquid and it tends to come off the leader very very easily and actually not stick too well so you need to mix the two together to basically improve its consistency now when you've done that there's a little trick that i do um, i actually pack it into a hook box this hook box has had a little slot cut in the side with a dremel and this sits in my fishing vest in a little pouch and when i need to add grease i give it a little squeeze and i pull the leader through a little slot and as you can see there it adds the color straight onto the leader for me keeps my hands nice and clean doesn't go all over my fishing vest now the advantages of the colored grease colored grease is easy to put on it floats and you can either put it on the leader or you can put it on the end of the fly line particularly if you're going to do some upstream nymphing where you want the end of the floating fly line the tip nice and visible and nice and high in the water so those are its advantages. Its main disadvantage is because it is quite soft, when you're casting, quite often, whether you want it to or not, your tip section can rub down the leader and you can actually end up contaminating the, the tip section of your, of your leader with the coloured grease and actually get it near the fly. And that's not a good thing because obviously it's highlighting to the fish that there's something not quite right. Um, so that's sort of like the pros and cons of the grease. There is one interesting little side trick that you can do with it as well, and that is to actually apply it, um, a little dab of it, on top of your duo or your indicator sedge flies. 
Um, a little bit of orange grease dabbed onto the top of those can make them really, really visible. And it's another interesting use for that particular product. So basically that's fluorescent grease or fluorescent muslin, whatever you want to call it. The next sort of step up from that in terms of permanent colour um, is using something like this, which is a coloured wax. These have become really popular in the last few years. Um, they're sort of semi-permanent. They're quite easy to put on. Relatively easy to get off as well. You can just wipe it through a cleaning cloth. I use a little supermarket cleaning cloth. I dampen it, pull it through, and it comes off pretty easily. Good things about these is they're semi-permanent. You can put it more or less anywhere up and down your leader. And because it comes off easily, you can even put it down on your tippet if you want to really shorten down onto your fly in terms of bite detection. Uh, and then take it off when you want to put a dry fly on. If you remember the video that I did um, about chopping between dry fly and nymph on the same rod, um, this is a good way to add colour into a tapered leader for doing that kind of method. Um, basically all you do wipe it up and down on the lead and as you can see there let's put a little coloured section right in the middle of that leader which I can add on or take off main advantage is easy to put on relatively easy to take off uh, and when you do get that tippet section rubbing down along the main leader it tends not to contaminate the main leader as much it can be really useful clear leaders or if you just want to really pull out the color of your bicolor indicator section in your leader that's a good way to do it now something that you probably haven't seen um, is one of these things so this is a, a solidified paint marker it's an acrylic type paint uh, in basically in a marker pen format now the advantages of this again it's very easy to apply i'm just going to stick some on here easy to apply because it's actually a, a paint um, it is a really really vivid color that you actually get on your leader and it also adds a little bit of diameter um, to whatever you're applying it to it sort of coats the leader so it is really really visible it's also semi-permanent so once it's dried in a few seconds and that's that's dry there now it's actually really difficult to get off now obviously that has some plus points um, if you're going to be nymphing all day and you really want to pull the colour of that indicator out, you can give it a quick wipe with one of those coloured pens and you're good to go. You really don't need to do anything else with it all day. You can just actually keep going with it. Uh, it'll last the, the full sort of shift. Uh, downside to it, obviously it's harder to get off. So if you're chopping between methods, you're probably better using the wax. Um, that's about it. Those are three different ways that I use to increase the visibility of my indicator uh, or to add um, actual indication into a clear leader they've all got the place they're all worth carrying uh, and i suggest you give them a go the next time you're out makes things like fine tuning your leaders fine tuning your indication better gives you better bite detection uh, which ultimately lets you catch more fish so hope it's of use for you and i'll speak to you again cheers guys